No matter what its type, an aircraft's place is the air, and a wind tunnel is the best place to study aerodynamics. Aerodynamics is the science which enables these students to assess the behavior of a plane in flight and is an essential part of the two-year course at the College of Aeronautics at Cranfield. Incidentally, this is no blackboard, it's the inspection window of a smoke tunnel. This student is studying vibration in a wind structure, and you'll see the same rig used again in a moment when they test the nose wheel of a comet. More important than the tests, however, is the reason why the students are here. The college was conceived in the stress of war when shortage of trained aeronautical engineers left Britain in suspense. It must never do so again. Here is a supersonic wind tunnel which operates at speeds up to three times the speed of sound. As a result of the setting up of a vacuum, air can be passed at supersonic speeds over the hump in this test chamber, and by means of light projected onto mirrors, the effects can be studied visually on a screen, a case of seeing what you should hear. We are safe on this side of the observation window of the jet test house, but inside they need to take precautions. And that's because the shrill whine of a jet can be ear-shattering until it reaches a frequency which takes it beyond human hearing. For the study of rocket motors and ramjets, even greater protection would be needed, but at least we can show you for the first time the business end of a jet. So to the practical application of theory and to more laboratory experiments in the air, completely equipped for performance testing, the aircraft is just one more step in a far-sighted plan to ensure the ascendancy of British aeronautical technique. Each student has his own instrument panel in this plane, the flying laboratory of a modern university of the air.